Taking Your Next Steps, a presentation of the North Paulding High School Counseling Office. So, this is your senior year, and you are wondering, what is next? You have many options after graduating from high school. There is no one right path. Take some time to explore your aptitudes, what you're good at, and your interest, what you like to do. The Youth Science Assessment students took in 10th grade would be a great place to start. Then look at all your options. There's full-time work, military enlistment, technical college, and colleges or universities. Let's look at joining the workforce right after school. If you are going to look for a job, take the time to compose a resume, a cover letter, and ask for references. You may also want to spend some time on Georgia Futures website to explore apprenticeships programs and internships. So where can you find job listings? From reputable companies websites, government postings, newspapers, and the Department of Labor. Want to join the military? The first step would be to take the ASVAB assessment. North Paulding High School offers this assessment each fall. These scores will determine the types of jobs you will be offered in the military. You will also want to talk with a recruiter, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, or the Marines. This is a two-part process. They will talk to you about your job options and your length of service, and then they will also ask you to take a physical and go through processing at the Military Entrance and Processing Station, also known as MEPS. Thinking about attending a technical college, the majority of programs at a technical college are job focused and provide specific training for that field. Programs can range from six months to two years. Many industries partner with technical colleges to provide training for job skills that are required for that particular field. For example, welding, air conditioning, cybersecurity, media technology, criminal justice, carpentry, and electrical engineering. Technical colleges also offer an opportunity to work on four-year college core classes or pursue a technical degree. The next slide you will see will have other sample programs available at a technical school. Some of the programs available at Georgia's technical colleges include cosmetology, culinary arts, nursing, physical therapist assistant, television production, and many more. If you decide to go to college, you can start at either a two-year or four-year college or university. The name college and university typically indicates the size of the school. Colleges tend to be smaller than universities, but not always. There are both public, state-owned, and private college and universities. Public schools are usually less expensive, but there's many ways to make private schools more affordable. To attend a four-year college immediately following high school, you will need to have completed two credits of the same world language. There are residential, where you live on campus, and non-residential options. Different schools can offer a variety of majors. A major is a plan of study that will result in a degree. This initial degree is called a bachelor's degree. Not all schools offer every potential major. Picking the right school is a very individualized process. In our general area, there are lots of options, such as Berry College, Georgia Gwinnett College, Georgia Highlands College, Georgia State University, Kennesaw State University, Reinhardt University, Shorter University, University of Georgia, University of North Georgia, University of West Georgia, and many, many more. Choosing the right school is very personal, and you need to make sure it's the right fit for you. Some things you might want to consider include, do you want to live on a large campus or in a small population? You'll need to look at the student to instructor ratio. Do you prefer to live in a large city or a suburb or a rural setting? Does the school you're looking at offer your desired major? Do you hope to be close to home or far away? Do you prefer to go in state where you could potentially use HOPE funds? Or do you want to go out of state? But remember, you can't use HOPE funds. Are you thinking about maybe 
taking on a part-time job in the surrounding community or on campus? And do the costs along with the financial aid package work for you? We recommend that you apply to several schools, safeties, confident schools that you are sure you could get into, good matches, the schools that it's a good chance you'll get accepted, and the reaches. It's not a sure thing, but possible. Our department heavily encourages you to visit the campuses of the schools that you are considering. With the appropriate documentation, seniors can take two excused visit days. You should try to schedule a visit, however, when we are on breaks and the college is still in session. Visit the school's website to sign up for a visit. Colleges regularly offer campus visits, especially in the summer months. Most of the time, you have to register for a tour first. Make a list of questions and ask the admissions counselor or tour guide. Get all the info you'll need to compare schools. Check out campus bulletin boards. There's something about college campus bulletin boards. They can reveal plenty about the liveliness and character of the school. If you can manage it, schedule a class visit during the academic year and sit in on a class in your major. Spend a night on campus. To get a real feel for life on campus, take the opportunity to sleep in the dorm, eat in the dining hall, and talk to students. Hang around after the official tour and take an unofficial tour. After your tour is over, hang out and talk to students and teachers about life on campus. Visit the town and talk to the locals too. Choosing a major is going to depend on your personal interests and aptitudes or skills. Is there any help in making this choice? U Science. Students took U Science as sophomores. Go back and review your results. GeorgiaFutures.org is also a great resource. Each college will have a career center that can help. Take electives to broaden your horizon. Consider the capstone research that you've done in your English class. Talk to people who work in the field of interest or are pursuing that major. Make sure your school of choice offers the major you wish to pursue. Your next step beyond high school is a personal one, and as such, you need to start examining your choices for next year and beyond. If you haven't already, start researching the options that are appealing to you. Gather information about schools that interest you. Be sure to register for any tests that you may need for your next step, and by all means, see your school counselor for assistance.